What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. In this video, we're gonna cover the basics of the Smooth Mobile in less than five minutes. Let's get started. All right, first things first. Charge your Smooth Mobile by plugging the charging cable provided into the micro USB port in the gimbal and the USB to a laptop or USB power adapter. Once your Smooth Mobile is charged, attach the mini tripod to the Smooth Mobile and set it on a table first. This will assist in proper balancing setup. Now the Smooth Mobile supports phones of all sizes. Make sure you set it without your case, some of the cases that might be heavier or larger. Insert your phone by placing it at the bottom of the grip and simply lifting the top of the grip so the phone slides right in. Next, balance your phone in landscape orientation before you turn it on. The cross arm acts as a counterweight, so your goal here is to make sure the phone does not drop too much to the left or to the right. There are three buttons in the front panel, the power button, mode and function switch button, and your record button. In order to power up your Smooth Mobile, press and hold the power button. This will activate the gimbal motors and the device will power on. The blue indicator means that everything is operating as intended. With the Smooth Mobile, you can directly control your native phone camera with the gimbal red shutter record button. Simply pair in your phone Bluetooth settings to the gimbal, then open your native camera app. You can now control video recording and live streaming directly on your iPhone or Android native camera app. This supports third-party apps like Instagram as well. You can do Instagram stories by clicking in and holding in the record button. For Android phones, you may need to change in the camera settings the volume control button to control video recording or photo recording. Portrait mode. Switch to portrait in one of two ways. Method number one. On a stand, flip the grip 90 degrees. Insert your phone vertically and balance as we talked before. Method number two is the handheld version. While holding the gimbal, tilt the handle forward so it's parallel with the ground. And while in landscape, hold down the trigger followed by the mode or function button. And this will cause the gimbal to rotate to a portrait orientation. Next up, extension. Gently pull out the built-in extension of the gimbal to get a wider field of view. Or, if standing on a tripod, raise or lower the height of the phone if shooting tutorials. For example, this one. By default, the gimbal is in pan follow mode. Press the mode button once to enter a full lock mode. Twice to enter the full follow mode. In the full follow mode, you can press the joystick left or right to go into partial inception mode. Double click the trigger to return to default position. You can also hold the trigger to enter into a temporary lock mode. You can use the Smooth Mobile with any GoPro, with or without an adapter. In order to see a quick tutorial on how to do this, feel free to check the link in the description and let me know what you think. By default, the gimbal is set to medium follow speed. The slowest speed is smooth and the fastest speed will be sport. You can adjust the speed inside the settings of the Smooth Mobile app. With the Smooth Mobile app, you can access many additional features and customize the performance of your gimbal. You can control photography settings with the joystick button on the gimbal by selecting the settings of your choice at the bottom of the app panel. With iPhones, you can switch from front to rear facing camera during video recording by triple tapping the mode button. With Android phones, you can switch by doing the same, but only when not video recording. With the app, you can control the following functions for iPhone face follow, object tracking, motion time-lapse, panorama, time-lapse, slow motion. Now the following functions are also available for Android phones. Face follow, object tracking, motion lapse setup, and panorama. You can also adjust the tilt calibration of the gimbal and set up the motion lapse auto rotation settings. With the zoom button, you can not only zoom in or out, you can also create some really amazing vertical shots, better known as dolly zoom shots. If your gimbal is drifting or tilting, you should definitely perform the initiation procedure that's highlighted on the manual. 
make sure that every time you use your gimbal, you're balancing the phone horizontally without a case. If you don't do this, you might have inconsistent performance. Remember that you can charge your phone while using your Smooth Mobile. Android devices can use the micro USB and USB-C cables that are included in the packaging. For iOS devices, you might need to get a separate lightning adapter. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And as always, thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.